it's too early in the morning for me to answer that question. You can't remember anything that you've done to help cut spending. Wouldn't that stick in your mind if you'd ever done it? Who are you? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Are you a rep? Yes, I am. Got a question for you. What's the best thing you've done since you've been in office to help cut spending? It's too early in the morning for me to answer that question. You can't remember anything that you've done to help cut spending. Wouldn't that stick in your mind if you'd ever done it? Who are you? Yeah, it's Dave Ridley. I'm RidleyReport.com. It's kind of like a poor man's TV station. with apparently a better memory than you. <laughs> he said, so two interesting words he said there were asshole and jerk. <laughs> All right, maybe I'm both. caucusing uh, in the state house called the Democrats caucus in the, le the smaller legislative office building, I guess because there are more Republicans these days in the house. Are you a rep? Gotta be. Oh, uh, I guess it's a policy question um, in that case. Uh, I'm wondering, the State Liquor Commission has been banning people in some cases from singing in the liquor stores. That's not American. <laughs> all right, thanks. That's all I need to know. Yeah, a question for you, Representative. The state, the state liquor store has been banning people in some cases from singing in the liquor stores and issuing no trespass orders that I think prevent them from even shopping in the liquor stores afterwards. Do you have any thought as to whether singing should be banned in state liquor stores? Singing in state liquor stores? It was, in this case, singing in protest. So these people came in, stood four in a row, and sang a song, and then left. To protest what? Uh, they were protesting the fact that the state makes alcohol, but it bans marijuana. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. But, but should the state, have, should the state be banning people from singing like that in a protest and state property? Well, singing would be a form of free speech. However, <clears throat> the state liquor store does have... Uh, the state liquor organization does have uh, a business to run. So I would think that uh, anybody who wanted to sing in protest uh, about anything would want to clear that first with uh, the proprietors of the state liquor store. Uh, Should citizens have to clear a protest with the government they're protesting? Depends on the location of the protest. If it's uh, <clears throat> on open pri uh, public property, then I wouldn't think so, but if it's on uh, private property or um, property that's controlled by an entity such as the state, then they probably should get permission, I would think, okay. just to, uh, to allow an orderly process um, for, for business to take place and, and so that no one no one else's rights are negatively affected. I appreciate the straight answer, Mr. Mr. Michael Voss. Am I saying that correctly? Suppose. All right. Thanks so much. You bet. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He did. 
wouldn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.